What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Stevo and we are here with another battle in our Who's the Mega series. Now of course if you haven't done so already, drop in the comments who you think the Mega Pokemon is from my team and Sarah's team for this battle. And you may recognize her. I have battles of, against her on my channel all the time. This is actually, we had a series of battles while I was in New York way back in the spring. And uh, I believe I had some of these battles. Um, yeah, they're all really good battles. I think I think they were all while I was in New York. But here we do have a nice uh, a rock polish aggron, a very nice uh, mixed septile set. Very, very offensive Tyranitar, uh, but very bulkily offensive, not really a lot of speed. Max speed offensive Diancie, uh, like a Defog bulky Latias set, and then a Focus Ash Alakazam set. So try to guess which one of those is the Mega. I will say it, I this battle was just entertaining for me overall. <laughs> Things never really go quite how you plan with these types of battles. Aggron is a great Pokemon to start off with with the sturdy ability intact. I believe I actually got this Aggron from Heavy Metal Fairies giveaway. And uh, she just goes for Fake Out, which I was like, okay, well, at least Kangaskhan's not her mega Pokemon, because that would be a pain to try to get rid of. And she has Drain Punch, no, but actually it doesn't do that much because it's not a mega Kangaskhan. And I get off my Autonomize. And now it's time for a Life Orb, Head Smash, Stab, but I miss. That would have, I think that would have killed Kangaskhan, because I'm adamant. But, you know, you, you miss these things sometimes. Um... It's kind of unfortunate, but we can go out to Sceptile here. I can threaten with the Focus Blast. Uh, I was very tempted to get up a Substitute as well. I think she expected Focus Blast, and so she went out into Blastoise, which sucks, because if I had just gone for the Grass Coverage, we could hit Blastoise on the way in. Uh, I was looking at the damage and going, if it's not Mega, I can probably KO it. And it's not Mega, thank goodness, because if it were Mega, she could have Mega Evolved and then killed me with an Ice Beam. Would not have been very bueno at all. Now Charizard comes in and I didn't know if it was her Mega or not. If it was, I really couldn't touch it. Uh, so the safest play is going out into Tyranitar. And uh, if it is Mega Charizard X, we could be in trouble. If it's Mega Charizard Y, we could still be in trouble because then the drought will get rid of my Sandstorm. But she actually pulls a double onto her Pinsir. And I was like, oh, Pinsir. Well, I figured either Pinsir or Charizard were Scarfed. And I knew I could take them both on at their scarf, so I just stay in here and go for my stone edge, and I miss. No, because guess what, guys? Guess what? You ask the question of who's the mega? Well, I guess I ask the question of who's the mega. It's not important who asks the question of who's the mega. What's important are answers. And it turns out that this is a swords dance mega pincer. <laughs> she kept it in its regular form because had I hit the stone edge, she actually might have survived it because it's not quad effective. Uh, I'm guessing she has a little bit of bulk and of course my Tyranitar is pretty bulky too. There are birds outside, holy crap, be quiet please. Uh, so she does go Mega Evolve here and because of the added bulk she gains from Mega Evolving, she might be able to live this Draco Meteor especially because I'm not a fully offensive Latias and I don't have life work, but she does, she barely hangs on and return just destroys Latias, especially with a critical hit. I do wonder if uh, Quick Attack would not have been able to finish off Latias right there, especially after the um, the Sandstorm damage. But I'm very happy Stand Sandstorm was up because it does take out Pinsir in one of those delicious, just lip speckingly good double downs. Uh, here I clicked to switch out because I didn't think, I thought for sure she would go for Crunch because I had such good neutral coverage on my team. But she pursues, and so now my Sash is completely nullified, and Alakazam is looking at me going, why do you play this game so predictably? Uh, what is nice, though, is that I bring in Tyranitar against hers, because she doesn't really know how fast my Tyranitar is. Although hers is probably faster since she had Pursuit. Um, I do just go straight for Earthquake. I could have gone for Crunch there, but I knew Earthquake would put damage on anything that she had at this point. And... That's what was most important to me because I still have my Diancie in the back. I still have my Alkazam in the back. I also need a good amount of her Pokemon. As long as I can put damage on them, I can still win this battle. Uh, she does go for Giga Drain on that switch, which is perfect. I get in my Sceptile for free, basically. Um, shiny Sceptile versus Shiny Sceptile. 
And this is one of the shiny subtiles that I actually randomly ended up breeding. Uh, with the good and hidden power, I don't think it has good, as good EVs, unfortunately. But you know, if I randomly breed a shiny, I'm going to be using it for something just because I come across them so infrequently. I don't know how some of you shiny hunters do it. You guys just have the patience that I don't have. Uh, she does notice that it's hidden power ice and not, uh, I guess it could have been. Well, no, there's nothing that's super effective against grass that would have also been super effective against Charizard. Anyways, so Charizard gets a free switch in here. Um, she just goes straight for Flamethrower, and I'm like, oh, hey, maybe this is Scarfed. And so it's like, all right, it's time. I got Tyranitar in here. Let's do this. Leroy. Oh, okay, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, having Tyranitar in is nice. If she goes out back into her own Tyranitar. Um, the Stone Edge was really the optimal play right there, but I was really afraid that I'd miss it because Stone Edge would hit Tyranitar as well. Should have just gone for the Bacon, gone for the Embor, and gone for the Earthquake. But it turns out that we either have a Speed Tie or I am faster, but she uh, hits harder, or rather I'm at lower HP, so she's able to take out my Tyranitar. I that actually bred that Tyranitar too, two shiny Pokemon that I bred at one battle. You don't get to see that very often. Go out into my Diancie here, and then because my Tyranitar outsped hers and mine wasn't very fast, I thought that my Diancie would outspeed her Tyranitar too, and that's stupid, because Diancie before Mega Balls has base 50 speed, and Diancie just comes out and goes, why Necro, and then it dies. See, these, this is why Pokemon Go is important. We need to, to go out and actually capture the Pokemon ourselves to make a, a, a bond with them, not just get them through an event. Come on, Necro. Uh, I do have Dazzling Game on Gazan, which is nice because I don't have to worry about Focus Blast. But what's not nice is the fact that she has Sucker Punch. Could have switched out into my Sceptile right there, but I... Since, I don't know. I just didn't think that it would be an issue, I guess. Um, I can come in with Sceptile and go for Substitute until she runs out of Sucker Punches. So we go for Substitute. It makes the, the, uh, the Sucker Punch fail. But then she just goes, okay, never mind, I don't care, and then she just bops me with a return. Definitely thought she was going to keep on going for um, Sucker Punches. Because the moment she gets wrong, I can hit her with the Focus Blast. And then I would have been the victor. Um, assuming, of course, Charizard wasn't Scarfed. Which I'm pretty sure was Scarfed by the way she was playing it. So that was a fantastic game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I enjoyed battling. If you would like to challenge me to a Who's the Mega Team. I'll remember, all you have to do is make a team of all Pokemon that can go Mega. Make one of them Mega. And then we'll go from there in an awesome battle of epicness. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you later.